to use the spoon at home. The thing is with this is although so much of it is kind of classical stuff you might learn at a degree level, angular momentum, friction, orbits, blah, 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 it's not perfect and that's the joy of it. When you look at this wheel here, okay, it's not like, it's not perfectly concentric. You might want to assume that that's perfect, but it's not. And also the initial conditions, the way you take it off the stick, means all those lovely equations that a clever bloke might try and throw at it probably won't work for very long. Now watch this, it's looking good. You can imagine a fellow with a calculator feeling quite pleased with himself right at the moment. And then a few seconds later, that is the cutting edge of unpredictable. This is, uh, this is mine, this one. I've not seen anybody else do it yet. See these old plastic discs, they, uh, they can't handle the, uh, the g-force out on the edges. You've got to move it to an orbit a little bit more like Mercury or something. Oh, and look at that. Twenty-five years of engineering. That's what you're getting. It's something about this exhibit. You feel unbelievably smug when you pull off something that you've spent about 10 minutes trying to work out. My guess is there will be a five-year-old who rocks up here in about 10 minutes' time and does that straight away. Oh. I reckon you could have Brian Cox, Stephen Hawking, probably Einstein if he was prepared to come back for the event, around here and they would be pondering the best way of doing this. Meanwhile, there'll be a bunch of eight-year-olds around there doing it. And I think that's it. You cannot, for all the maths you throw at it, actually predict what any of these are gonna do. You can postulate, you can theorize, you can reckon, but I guess it's not gonna happen like you think it is. There's just too much to take on board for something that seems relatively simple. Although, my low friction deduction of going for a gentle orbit, could be in for a Nobel Prize.